Holler and a Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck. Joey Hollenbeck. Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Travis. Welcome to another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Holland with Hollenbeck. We got Joey Hollenbeck on the mic. Hello, everyone. Now, if you haven't listened, it's the first time. We've got a zillion episodes out there. We're dumb. We're idiots. Uh, we're so stupid. Speak for yourself. We're, what? 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 <laughs> uh, anyway, we, uh, we've we grown in the, in the past few years as a friendship. Before that, we really didn't know each other. But past, we talked to this about in the past. I saw you at school. We went to the same school, same, uh, same. Uh, oh, you did? You went to Enoqua? Enoqua High School. Uh, first underclassman to win Mr. EHS. I rarely talk about that. Um, yeah. and at Mr. Enoqua High School, it's a, yeah. a prestigious honor. Anyway, uh, <laughs> valedictorian, just kidding. Um, Joey, uh, standout football player, went on to Wazoo, became, uh, he was a defensive end. Uh, he then, uh, had a off the field injury that that moved his position. He adapted, learned the offensive uh, lineman position very fast, very quick, and uh, then went on to play in the NFL. Uh, he was a, he was a part of three teams. I'm, I'm just going off of memory: uh, uh, Seahawks, uh, Buffalo Bills, uh, the Rams, Denver, Denver. Then played AFL. No, that was AFL. AFL Denver. Uh, played some Euro League too. The guy's been everywhere. Uh, now he's on this podcast. The biggest accomplishment of his life, right here. <laughs> True story. <laughs> anyway, uh, super excited. Lost Beach uh, again, donating. He is. They don't owe me anything. It's generous. It's the their generosity. Uh, thank you very much. We do trivia the last Wednesday of every month. We have a Lost Beach, uh, you know, gift cards, Mazelon gift cards, Bordeaux wine bar gift cards, you know, sponsors, sponsors of the pod. So that's my little plug. Thank you very much for listening. Joey. What's up? Sorry, I had to turn the heater off. Well, dry, I'm sorry. It's drying out my eyes. It's 10 degrees in here. It's 10 degrees outside. No, Wind. Not, you're wearing, you're rocking shorts. Yeah. I'm impressed. Thanks. Are you a shorts guy? Are you, do you always run hot? It's uh, like, it's like, it's uh, like 28 degrees outside right now. Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's chilly. I don't, it's not like I just wear shorts and go chill like, outside. You know what I mean? If I'm outside, I'm like from my truck to the store, from my truck to the office, from my truck to the podcast room. So it's in and out, you know? And then, do you, but so do you spend a lot of time in your car though? Like, do you have the heat cranked or it's nice no, to have? Dude, I always have the AC seat going every day. <laughs> and like, I'm usually, sometimes I get chilly in the morning. So I'll turn it up to like 67, 66. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You got the, the the heat the so you're saying that the seat warmer's on full blast but no the, the, the air conditioning but seat. then you have the AC on you no 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 the a, I have AC seats too but it's freezing outside I know I run hot really I like to be comfortable Travis so so Pullman was Pullman Buffalo like yeah. what was the coldest you've ever been that you can remember like it was just Buffalo and was it just like this is how do people live here miserable no, it's so cold that it feels warm almost it, at it's, first it's like it's like a reversal it, yeah. it tricks your mind. Yeah, like went to my uh, car one time just to start it, warm it up. This is before, obviously, the push button start. And <laughs> you're, your, <laughs> you're your own remote start. Yeah, I had to go out and actually start it. <laughs> and like, I'm like in a t shirt and sweats or whatever mm-hmm. and fire it up. And then you're like, this isn't that bad. Yeah, I was like, it's cold, but it's not like right. crazy. And it was like negative like 17 on my. <laughs> like temperature deal in my car i'm like okay that's pretty chilly yeah so but, i mean i don't know I, I guess i just don't really hang out in cold very often like that you know yeah what like, do you do to prepare a, a, to be a, for a game like a, like, a, like a game where you're gonna be like smashing into bodies and see the heat's coming back on this guy over here throws the ac on i'm turning it down to 60 so we have <laughs> some airflow. oh you want oh you want a little I, mean, I can throw the fan on you if you want. Oh, yeah, we can do that. But, but some noise, too. <laughs> Offset your cough. Man, it's rough right now, man. Um, Throat is dry. What did you just ask me, though? Uh, like, what do you do to prepare yourself to like, oh, smash in, like, into bodies games? at like, negative? Buddy, I remember playing like some serious cold games. And it was <laughs> that thing's a hunk. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I don't know. You broke it. Anyways, but like the the th- I remember when I was younger, especially I think we were playing like Peninsula or something, 
high school, or maybe it was even junior high, dude, but it was like cold and like rain and sideways and like dude, like when it's that cold outside, your joints are already like, you know, tense. But then you're like hitting each other, like until you get like warm, 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 like you can't like it sucks, dude. Like hitting each other, fingers, hands, all that stuff. It's cold. Is it? Is it? Uh, are people like uh, smacking? Like are, are, are you, I know that you're trying to get an uh, you're going to try to get a, a an edge when you're playing. So you got hand fighting going on, all that on the line. Are people like trying to like? No, nobody's trying to like intentionally hit your hands. <laughs> that just, just got to hurt too. Just like, oh my gosh, that guy's like Mr. Miyagi. You just <laughs> hit my <laughs> pinky finger while I was in the air. So when you're warming up, like before a game. Yeah. You know, you know, people stands, people show up to the game. They, you know, they're probably like an hour, hour and a half. You grabbing beers, sitting down. When does a player show up before a game? Like, are oh, they there? Dude, way early. Like, what does that way early mean? Like, let's say it's a ten o'clock, ten a.m. or we'll say a one p.m. game. Okay. Uh, what what time are you showing up to the to the stadium? Eight. Eight a.m. Yeah. And then you're out when you're out there and you're warming up. Like, I always feel like you got to give a hundred percent of your energy. You got to save it for the fourth quarter. But people are like. You see kickers yeah, but, kicking and people yeah, running. And- but that's the whole – you're so conditioned that you're conditioned to be able to play a full game with a warm-up and whatever. You know, that's like the day-to-day of being in shape to be able to play the sport that you're playing. So it's, it's so it's no big deal. Like you're not – No, I mean you definitely get tired, but it doesn't – I mean you bounce – You the, the thing about being in really good shape is you recover a lot quicker. So when you are really tired, when you come out – you recover fast because it, it, you train for that. Okay. So, like, right now, like, when you walk up the stairs, like, you know you can make it to your room without passing out. Well, well <laughs> most of us. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and I'm talking specifically to, about To me. You. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm following. I mean, you're trained for that. <laughs> but had your room been two floors higher. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, you're going to stop. And, you got a pit stop for a moment. Right. Go Diet myself. Coke. <laughs> Guys, to Ben Gay, real quick. <laughs> just hit the smelling salts. <laughs> hit the smelling salts on the <clears throat> on the stoop. Turn in the corner to the third floor. You know, call call someone. Hey, mom, haven't talked to you in a while. Just thought I just. Uh, hey, hey, mom. <laughs> you know what's funny is I <laughs> called Meg and uh, shout out to my daughter turned eighteen yesterday. Uh, that's two eighteen year olds. Uh, well, my daughter's nineteen and eighteen, so I said over eighteen year olds. So I've I've halfway made it uh, through life with the kids. Uh, getting them out, uh, but anyway, getting them out as soon as their 18th birthday. They're like you're like happy birthday, happy birthday. bye bye, rent you're right. rents on the first. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so but I yeah I, I was walking. I was actually walking downtown to collect some stuff, and and uh, and then when uh, I, so I called Megan to kind of check in with her. How hey, how was last night? How was your birthday? Because she's at that age where you know, yeah, she wants to celebrate her birthday with her family. Friends. But then, yeah, exactly. She wants to go out. Hey, when, when are we getting home? Are we doing anything afterwards? Yeah, I just got some cake for you. And then, like, a card. Okay. And then, can I go out with my friends? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, she doesn't even have to ask you anymore, right? Well, let's see that. In her brain, <laughs> she think I said, no, you're in the school year. You're a senior right now. Until you get out of, like, school. High, yeah. Then we can start talking about, like, what your, what your school looks like. So, what I did with Madden last year, she graduated. And I said, hey, this is your last summer. Enjoy it. But September first, because you're living here full time, I I charge. I'm like I, I like yeah. You're for real. Oh, for real. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because here's the thing. Like her auto insurance is two hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Like her cell phone bill fifty. You know her her. You know she uses the majority of the internet. Like okay. So what if she would have went to college? Then what? What if she was in college right now? Uh if she was in college, it, yeah, it'd be a little different. Well, yeah, it would have yeah. to be. Right? Yeah. But I mean, she's still, I mean, it's still 200 bucks a month. It's still 50 bucks for her cell phone. But like, I understand. So I might cut it in half. I don't know. But Mike, you know, Madden didn't want to go to college. Megan doesn't really want to go to college. What's well, okay. I, I'm trying to get them to take to, uh, take a look at some trades. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, I was just talking to somebody not a few weeks ago and just uh, especially like the business that I'm in. And it's like, he was like, man, honestly, he's like, that's where everything needs. That's where everything's going to be is in the trades because it's been so neglected by this everyone uh, last generation or whatever 
that everybody's in IT and tech and all this other stuff and uh they just kind of gotten forgotten. That's why like a few years ago, dude, if you put in some work to become like a plumber or electrician or something like that, like dude, you were making like 80 bucks an hour. That's crazy. Or more. That's like nuts. it was insane because there was a shortage of it, but at the same time, everybody needs plumbing, everybody needs electricity, right. everybody needs all this stuff, but everybody takes it for granted too. Like we still have to do it. Right. So I mean, that's going to be the next big hitter again. It's just going to kind of come full circle. I feel like yeah. it should. I feel like I feel like that's also something that you can't. You, I mean, maybe you could down the road, but you can't really automate that. Like you're you're having to like lay, you know, like go underneath the house, move stuff around. You know, uh, you can't really automate a, a robot to go into and and figure all that out for you. No, not like those type of trades in a way. Because everything's so custom too. Like, yeah. every house is different. If we're talking electricity and plumbing, right? Everything's different. Always different. You know, it's you can't. It's always got to be hands on. Yeah, got to work, and and it's hard work. I told Madden, I say it's hard work, but you're already working hard. So, she, so she works for a grocery outlet. Mm-hmm. Six a. So she got promoted like within like the first like like a month, I think. To where she's running grocery. She was just kind of there, like doing shelves, and now she's like six a.m. to two, Monday through Thursday, kicking butt. And then she works at the Rainier, and, and the, on the weekend. So she and she hardly ever has a day off. She's yeah. always making money. And I'm like, good for her. Yeah, I'm like that is like that's. <laughs> she's always making money. I'm always taking half of it, <laughs> but she's always making money. Hey, hey that's just how it is. <laughs> Daddy's got to go to the muckle shop. That's the. <laughs> Them, them's the breaks, kids. You just learned yourself a valuable lesson. Sign a contract next time. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I see where you're coming from to an extent. Like, it teaches them responsibility, real world stuff, which I don't. I wasn't really taught that till I was in it. Yeah. So I mean, it's good. But also, when did when was your like real world moment? Do you remember? Yeah, real world moment. Yeah, where you're like you just said that you really weren't weren't taught the real world stuff. I wasn't. Because you go from making, well, you go growing up from with not a lot, and then you go to college where it's just all hard work and you don't make a lot at all. Like I was only making like, uh, I don't know, four hundred, just under five hundred bucks a month after everything was paid. So I mean, it's not a lot to live on. I mean, that's granted we had two meals a day paid for. But you think of any other things you want to spend your money on, like 500 bucks goes quick. Like for you, it probably goes about nine minutes at the casino. Well, I mean, probably more like 11. Well, but you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, and then you get out of there, and I was really in a screwy situation because um, it went from making like nothing in college to signing with the Rams and going there for two day mini camp and making. They pay you just for the mini camp? Yeah. Fly you up, put you up, and then I'm there for a mini camp for two days, and then they're like, go up to the office, and then they're like, here's the envelope. Which is, which is, I'm guessing, if uh, it's got to be more than a few hundred. Yeah, a few more zeros for two days. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's crazy. I need it. You think you can give me a little, like, tryout? I could be a punter. Sure. Figure that out. Sure. Punters still have to run the length of the field sometimes. What about long snappers? Mm-hmm. Those are both good gigs, but they still have to be athletic. Uh, what do the trainers make? I feel like, like if you look at a sideline, there's like a lot of little assistant trainers everywhere running around. Doing you the- would be a good trainer, but you would have to deal with like injuries and stuff. But back to my story. I'm oh, sorry. Um, sorry, you got on your phone and then blanked out, and then you came back. No, I didn't. Good to see you. I was answering everything. Good to see you. Um, Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. We got Joey Holland back on the mic. <laughs> You're a tool. So then, over time, you start making and living that lifestyle. Yeah. And then when that ends, you go into the quote unquote real world. And when you make like your first check in the real world, you're like, I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> wait, wait, where's the rest? <laughs> yeah. We have a typo. Good, good, good one, guys. You got. <laughs> I got pranked. I got punked. Funny. <laughs> um, and so then what? So, so what, then you just literally sit back and totally learn and reevaluate the value of a dollar, and then like just try to like grind. You've been grinding for how long now? 
Uh, my whole life, bro. Well, I know that, but I mean, like, NFL was your last year in the AFL was what was what year? Um, uh, oh wait, oh that I don't, yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, so it's been it's been a grind, and and now you you you've made it, uh, uh, you know. Do you even talk? Do you ever want to talk about your occupation? Ever? Do you ever want to be on a microphone and just talk into it, or did you want to? What do you mean? What are you talking about? My occupation? I no. have talked about. It. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to share it? What it is, or do you care? Do you even? Do you not want to? I mean, we own back trucks. Yes. And we do everything that a back truck can do, and some. And so, back truck. What does that mean? Like, it's like, like a big suction truck. You've seen them probably clean storm drains, jet lines. Uh, meaning like storm drain lines, sewer lines, different things like that. We hydro excavate, which means we go to construction sites and use high pressure water with different nozzles. And as we spray to the spray in the ground, we suck it up at the same time. And it opens up holes to show like where a gas main is or a power main fiber optics. So these construction guys aren't going in there with excavators and just ripping it all out and then it's thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to repair so So, we expose it all they know the depths they know where to be and they know where they can dig and where they can't dig um and your work phone is it on like 24 7 yeah it never stops that's why i was just on my phone yeah that's why i'm giving you a hard time yeah i understand mine is just nine to five just or whatever and then you just check out like check out five five three o'clock five o'clock you're like Group yeah. text the boys. Yeah, what's let's up? go. What's up? No more to work for me. Uh, you know, it's like the Looney Tunes where the guys would clock in, like, "Hey, Ralph, click clonk." You know, it's like it's it, like the Flintstones. Well, yeah, but you're also, it, but the, the 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 Looney Tunes was like you'd have like the the coyote chasing the, but the the, the but they would once that was just during the work hours and before that, you and know afterwards they were pals. There's buds, yeah. yeah, and then they would clock back in, then they chase and try Eat to kill each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, so that's kind of like me. Yeah, I just. Clock in. I punch in. Yeah. Punch out. How is the punch in? Punch out. Punch out. How is the diet I going? Punch in. I got it. How's the diet going? I punch out. And I uh yeah, it's it's have you been cooking at all or doing anything? Or you just eat bag lettuce now? I, I just I well, here's the thing. We got a we got a buddy burrito that is uh kind of hitting on me not hitting on me like in a, like a weird way he's just like saying oh you're getting it back which nice one buddy i think he's just looking at a mirror but like for me it's it's uh yeah no i'm not hitting the bag lettuce as much it's all about portion control joe i don't know if you know about this but uh it's been like like last night we went out to megan's uh you know for her birthday went to trapper sushi had had sushi decent have you had a have you been able to check that out I did. I did have a roll from there. I ran down and grabbed one a while back. It was but good. I feel like the, it's good. I had some eel last night. First time I ever had eel. Cooked? I hope. Seared, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can eat, I don't know if you can eat it raw, actually. But. What's the weirdest thing you've ever... That was probably the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. I had some anchovies in the past at Il Sicilano's. I had it on a pizza. Uh, that's probably the weirdest thing I've had. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you think you've ever partaked Frog in? Frog legs? Oh, really? Like, like Was it like fried and crunched? Like, like, uh, yeah, it just tastes like chicken. Where was that at? Europe. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, but yeah. are you cooking anymore? You're not doing. You're out of the game. So we did for for Valentine's Day a uh, little, you know, some scallops. Oh yeah, I did scallops then, last night. And then raw shrimp, and then cooked the shrimp up, and then fettuccine, and then noodles, and and uh, had that Alfredo. for Valentine's Day. Alfredo, yeah. Little. So diet's clearly off. Well, that was you know at special events. Special I, events, I. Oh, so trappers. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> two days prior. <coughs> tonight <laughs> tonight we will be, we'll be a, a, a salmon Caesar salad at the Rainier. That's exactly what it will be tonight. Do you think eating out is good for you compared to like eating in? You know what? That's a great question. Here, let me let me answer that. I'm glad that you I'm glad that you asked that I question. I have some thoughts on that too. Okay. So uh Lent. Lent is I think now, maybe or tomorrow. Today we oh, go. Maybe it is today. Maybe today, today. Or tomorrow. So uh my no, senior year my senior year, I for Lent, I gave up eating fast food. And oh. I I would either make my own lunch, make I wouldn't even eat at the cafeteria. I I brown like anything that was considered not from home or homemade. Okay. Wouldn't eat it. 
Would you? Okay, I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah. So, at that time in your life, were you literally eating fast food every day? Because I was working at Safeway. Because I, you know, b- back then it had just become a thing. I think my junior year, senior year, we could go to like Burger King and and uh, McDonald's. We could like Randy didn't care. It was like we 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 could go. Uh, we had senior whatever. We were able to do it back in the day. I think you had to have like special notes. We didn't I have mean, anything. You dude. didn't freaking. We, we you, legit like sat in the cafeteria. You day. were yeah. You were Debo. Like Randy would walk up to you and say, "Hey, where's your where's your pass?" And you'd say, "Where's your pass?" And then he would bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't. No, I was but, super respectful. Yeah, ab- absolutely. Fun loving. Yeah. Just trying to eat some lunch before Spanish class. Yeah, that's it. That's all you're trying to do. Yeah. Just hang out to, with some friends. Just get, get, just get, hang out. Get a little food going. Just get a little R and R in before the rest of the day. <laughs> so so I went on a uh, uh, so during that Lent, I went to on a dance with uh, Rhonda Harrison. I think uh, Harrison was maybe in your grade. There was another Harrison hairdresser. Uh, anyway, uh, so I went with Rhonda Harrison to uh, to dance to. Uh, Tolo or Sadie Hawkins or something. Anyway, we, we went and uh, Dylan Donahue, his mom. Che Donahue's brother. Yes. Okay. They owned like, what was it called over there? Black Diamond. It was like. It used the, to be called Dinner House. The Dinner House. Yeah. yeah. So all of us, it was like 40 of us because we, we were in Dylan's class and we all went to there to have our dinner, but it was eating out. And so what Rhonda did, very sweet, very nice Rhonda, love her. She made me like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I got she packed a a, a sack lunch for me, and then you and then I took her to Crystal Mountain. <laughs> and I had Martinelli's, some candles. I didn't realize how no. far Crystal Mountain was. No. She thought I was going to. I was never romantically <laughs> interested in, in in Rhonda, and she was not interested in me as well. So it was it was very plutonic, very cool. But yeah, no, I didn't get creepy with her at that time. But the other one wasn't <laughs> super. The other one that she was super creepy. So, yeah, she, wasn't she wasn't into you either. <laughs> so <laughs> the only difference was I was. <laughs> oh okay. yeah. So uh, so Rhonda made that for me. We still talk about that. And uh, in, in fact, uh, you know, she I, I'll see her like like couple times a year she she's she, she's in town I don't know if she's still in town anymore actually but anyway she so i ate that dinner while everyone else is eating like the great dinner house food and i'm just over there just munching on a on a sack lunch nice. um so I, I, I and i lost weight during that time even though i was very i was very skinny in high wait, school wait so wait a second so by you not eating burger king three times a day and <laughs> mcdonald's dabbled in between those yeah. three times a day you yeah. lost weight lost no weight. shit it's a weird thing yeah it is weird yeah ate from home Oh, okay. Came from home, but uh, but anyway, it was so yeah. So so I uh, I don't know what your original question was on that, but yes, I have given it up, and I and no, yeah. you took it to you took it left when I was just trying to say have you been cooking? I said, do you think eating out? <laughs> have you ever taken is, a, is healthy? As have you ever taken a break in? from eating out? I don't eat out hardly ever. Never. I truly don't. I cook, dude. I cook every day. And so do you bring your leftovers? Like yeah. what do you do for lunch? So today I. Today, so last night I made, I had two ribeye caps. Have you ever had those from Costco? Mm. It's basically the cap of the ribeye. So it's that like, it's the ribeye, but they roll it and tie it together. So it just looks like a round inch and a half, two inch thick like steak, but it's the ribeye cap. So it's like when you eat a ribeye, that like fat part on the top with the meat and it sears real nice okay so, yeah got me hungry have, now thank you i was gonna have a salad later but now i made two of those and then i did grilled some scallops and then i'm i well you'll be happy to know that i'm f- on the carnivore i'm going for you're it. back i'm in all in so tell me your yeah tell me so the rest so i did that and then what i did was um I really was wanting some scallops, so I grilled some scallops. And in the meantime, first off, I took the steaks, salt and peppered them, got them to room temperature, salt and peppered them, put them on the Traeger, just on low heat smoke for like an hour. In the meantime, I made, it's supposed to be like a corn salsa with avocado and like some shallots and a jalapeno and roasted corn on the corn on the cob. Left the corn out, just did the avocado, little lime. Did it all up real nice there. Made like a little vinaigrette. Seared the scallops. Finished the steaks at the same time. Put that on a bed of that avocado. Oh, buddy. Dude. 
it was good. It was really good. I had a scare though. I will tell you. I had What's a your scare? scare? I had a scare a couple days ago. I did a corned beef brisket. Corned beef. All right, so we usually have corned beef like around like St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. A but brisket, do you do it on the Traeger? No, no. It was actually corned beef. Okay. It's a corned beef, yeah. but it's a brisket still. That's what it is. Okay. So I did a corned beef, and I did it on the Traeger. What do you normally cook a corned beef? Just so you know, just so you tell me the difference. Yeah. Is it like a slow cooker? Like, what do you usually do? Yeah, you do it in like a crock pot. There's many ways to do it. But, okay. That's um, typically you'd make it, but you made it on the Traeger. First time? No, I've done it before, but okay. it's been a long, long time. Okay. I was really craving like Ruben-esque type. Yeah, there we know? go. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. So I did a corned beef on the Traeger, smoked it until it hit like 175, put it in a tray, like an aluminum tray with like just enough beer to cover the bottom of the pan. So you're going to, and then cover it, foil left the corner up. So it's basically going to. What beer are you using? Bud Lights or what are you doing? I actually had a Pacifico. I just put like a little bit in there. A little bit in there. Okay. Keep it moist? Yeah. Like. Yeah, and then it'll steam it, so that's where you're gonna get like that shred and gotcha. whatever. Okay. So did that, um, and then I, as I was going, it takes a long time, dude. Like it's like four hours on the first push to get it to 175, and then after you wrap it, it's like another potentially three or four hours too to get it right. So do your neighbors just hate you? The smell that are they always just like, dude? Like it smells so good outside when we walk outside. No, I don't. I think they love me. I think all my neighbors love me. But they're like, but they're eating like Domino's pizza, and they're like, I wish I. No, was. my man, my man Frank that lives next to me, he's always grilling, but he's, he's, he's traveling all the time and back and forth. So. Oh, okay, all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Keep no, going. you're good. It just, it just sounds like it smells amazing right now. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Do you ever just sit out there? Oh, sorry. Do you, don't be do, sorry. Do you sit out there in your shorts and a little little cocktail, yeah, and then I just do. every night and just smell the as when it's I cooking? cook when I cook I'm out there. Like the other night, Kristen's like, uh, it's like 20 degrees outside, 35 degrees at 30 degrees, whatever. And you're like, I'm playing Candy Crush. I'm like in a tank top and shorts, like out there. <laughs> I go, the grill's 500, babe. I'm good. <laughs> just, just huddled up next to it. Yeah. Just, just, I'm cooking, moving and shaking. Toes are a little cold, but I'm all right. That's all good. Okay. Keep going. Sorry. Um, so as I'm doing this, I look at my trigger pellet, like on the side, right? Yeah. You never want to let it run out because if it does, it can like, back up your auger or like lock it up so you got to take the whole thing apart to like fix it but you so you're filling it as you're going well you fill it it's a huge excuse me it's huge so yeah. you fill it and then it might burn down like halfway and you fill it keep, keep and it going. goes so it was like three quarters full but that was a long cook on that meat okay so i was like doing it and i like looked at it and i'm like okay i probably got like an hour i need to put more pellets in it and then i got sidetracked i was like watching a show or something oh. and i was like oh no and i went out and i was like it was done. It was ready to be taken out. But, but I was like, this freaking, I let this thing go too low on pellets. I mean, there's still pellets in there, but like it sucks through a hole. So they just kind of stack each other on the side yeah. sometimes. So I was like, oh, shit. So I filled it up, turned it back on. I was getting nothing. I'm like, I'll deal oh. with it tomorrow. And then I did the cook last night, fired it up. I'm like, oh. fingers crossed. She kept on rocking. There baby. you go. Kept on rocking. Woo. Right. Dude, that's a good story. So today, I had for lunch the leftover ribeye caps with the avocados in it, and that was it. Have you had the Traeger go low before? You've had to actually take it apart yourself. Yeah, you, so you so you learn from your mistakes. What you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've you had flew it. close to the sun the last time. The but. cool thing about the Traegers are is there's they got really good like warranty type stuff on it, and then at like uh, the Do It Center, the hardware store in Maple Valley at Four Corners. They are like a full Traeger dealer, and they work on them too. Shout out, Mark. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Mark. I don't know if you guys work on them, but <laughs> I've taken them to the I've taken it to the to the Maple Valley one before, and they'll like upgrade it, like go through the whole thing. So it's great. Oh, you're on your phone. Cool. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, you can. You can. I can still. T- I'm still listening to you. Oh, I'm listening to you too. Type. What What did you make for Valentine's Day? We went to Mazelon. Oh, did you guys get your tea canceladas and a heart? No, I told you this already. We switched. I switched it up and got Eris Compoyo. You didn't tell me. I mean, you told me, but I don't think you told. Did you tell the listeners? Yeah, we talked oh, about we talked about time. that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
right. Way to recap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Way to recap. Uh, Guy's just on his phone. Well, over. I'm texting Andy. Actually, believe it or not, Andy Cardenas given from Mazalon giving us some some uh, certificates for the old. It's uh, weird how you only reach trivia. out to people when you're ready for some guest certificates. Come on, now. <laughs> come on now. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Okay, so. Um, well, that okay. See, that's right. We did make that. So, what's your what's your next? Real quick, let's, 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 I'm just pushing, dude. I'm honestly, and I feel I already I'm like feeling. I feel good. So, what's the carnivore? Good? What are you eating? Meat. That's it. Like no salads. Fruit. No, not a lot, no, not a lot of veggies. No fruit. No, I do eat fruit. Oh, okay. Like meat, fruit. No, I eat fruit. Okay. I have some fruit each day, and. Uh, a lot of meat before dude i did this i was legit like red meat grass-fed that's it yeah and that gets that's hard to sustain dude so what with is- with like with also like some f- fruit in there as well or like raw dairy raw dairy what is that what's raw dairy like yogurt it's like not, what are we talking about here no it's not like processed or anything it's basically straight out of the freaking utter yeah no joke no joke. Yeah. Can I ask you a question sure. about this? Because the Ohio thing, East Palestine, horrible oh, shit going on over so there. So horrible, dude. I, I don't hardly cuss on this episode, but that's just horrible shit over there. I agree. Trump's there right now delivering all the goods. He's water, 13, 13 pallets of water and some uh, some good stuff. Uh, cleaning supplies, paper towels probably. So, well, the good thing is we got Biden tripping upstairs again. That was weird. I saw that too. Yeah, that's yeah. talent, I'd have to say. Yeah, it's good. It's good though. I mean, we're he's going there. We have major issues going on here, but he's going there to basically get us in another uh, World War Three. But that's cool. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's go. Did you get it out of your system. I did. Yeah. Are you good with that? Yeah. I know you don't like to talk politics. <laughs> I don't like to talk politics because you're a candy ass. I'm a, whoa! <laughs> I can't eat that. Uh, so is that thing too hot for you now? It's drying out my eyes, dude. <laughs> Take him over. Looks like the freaking things just hit me right in the eyeballs every time you look at me. It's like I just got done watching the Notebook. Uh, so East Palestine. You didn't even hear what I just said. The I just Notebook. A good one. That was a good one. Oh, Dry out your eyes. Like oh, you're on your phone. Sorry about that. That was a good one. You you know, here's the thing. A little inside. Let's do the NBA inside stuff real quick before we get into this East Palestine thing. Joey takes this podcast seriously. That's not a sarcastic comment. In a sense where he's like, dude, I don't think that was funny. Like, we should just let's just edit it and let's just or, you know let's delete it and start it again. Uh, That's so, why if you're listening, you catch me say things like multiple times, like back to back, <laughs> because <laughs> Travis is on his phone and doesn't hear anything. I'm oh, saying. Pl- I actually got to take this for a work call, so pause it. All right, guys, I was gonna give like so we just got back from from his phone call. Uh, work call. I, I was gonna give him crap, like, oh hey, you're always on your phone. Let me tell you guys this. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to spill the beans. But I just saw a maestro work a phone call right now. Like it was like the guy called him first. We can probably say that, right? The guy was like, "Hey, I need this. I need this. Uh, can you do it?" And Joey, because of how busy it is, he's like, "I don't. I, that's that's like in a couple hours. I can't do that." But I can. But the guy wanted Joey first, and Joey was like. Hey man, thanks. Like he was like, thanks for thinking of me first, man. I appreciate you. You're the man. And and then uh, it was just like, and the guy was like, yeah, no, no problem. Like, it was like, I was impressed. Oh, that's how you get him to call you back, dude. I got a little tear in my eye. I, I, it, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how it worked. Bro. It was like watching. It was like watching your son hit a home run. It was like wow, <laughs> it, that was a grand slam. Joey's Joey's uh, in, reaching the mystery uh, uh, mystery bag of goods. This is crazy because we do have patrons, <laughs> and we also have. I mean, if you think of, <coughs> if you think of, I mean, for instance, yeah, let's think, yeah, for instance, I mean, Lost Beach is given how yeah. much? Thirty. I think this is about thirty bucks for the trivia tonight. <laughs> Multiple times. Once a month, but yeah, you're right. Once a month, and then I come in here and record two to three times a month on a good month, and I'm diving into grab bags. I just pulled out a a, a, <laughs> a drink. 85 calorie <laughs> seltzer cocktail called Juniper Berry Harbor Frit Fizz. Yeah, and brought to you by Craig Bentley, who'll just bring me brings me random drinks. It legit when I opened it smells. Dude, like I can the smell vita- over here. It smells like the vitamins I take in the morning. Dude, it smells I, like I was gonna say. It I don't think like, I can drink this. It smells like Flintstone vitamins. Like when were you taking the Flintstone vitamins back in the day? 
Like that's what it tastes. That's what it smells like. Do you, you need to get that too? You're blowing up. You're good. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't, don't know even... if I can drink this, dude. It's it intense. Smells like my vitamin dude, it, cabinet. It, it literally it smells like you like you just lit a candle up. But I guess what the whole point I'm getting at, this has zero sugar yeah, in it, it's good. spiked. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe you could stock just, this you know, whatever. thing. You know. Anyway, sorry, will you say something? Yeah, stock okay. the fridge right. that I gave you. Uh-huh. Hey, it's yes. bit, it, did you not get something from it? Yeah, it's cold. That's the only thing in there. Dude, it's colder than the freaking outside. It's That's a good fridge. I know, I told you. Uh, anyway, uh, what were we talking about before that phone call? I think we were getting Cooking. somewhere. You Cooking. Cooking. And You're then, not, you don't cook anymore. Well, yeah, but no, no. We, then, oh, yeah. East Palestine. Oh, yeah. What were you going to say about that? That makes me want to buy local now. Like that whole thing. And then like they got the other stuff. And I, I, It's either A, this has been going on forever. And we've seen these things happen forever. Or B, like, like I just want to just go buy a half rack of a cow somewhere local. And then just buy all my produce local. Like I don't trust anything right now. Well, why wouldn't you be doing that anyways? Because we live... In a farming community Dude, where all of that stuff's ready available. That's the it's truth. It's not like you're living in have a you major city. Have you done that? Have you bought like a half cow? Yeah, cow? I'm working on another one right now. Okay, so let me ask you, because this is the thing that I'm... It's s- a lot of freaking meat, but you're going to have to ton. buy a freezer. Mike on the mic, I was, Mike Martinez, I was like helping him load his truck one day when he bought one, and he, could, he had to like pull out like a bunch of old stuff. How long does that meat actually last? That's what I want to know. That's something where you got to like eat it. No, I mean it lasts. It's frozen. Like for a year, six months. Like I don't know exactly, but like I've done it before, and I legit was eating it. I would eat it like daily. Like it wasn't like. Well, I know you eat it daily, but it's like there's a point where it's like because I want to like buy. I got to buy a freezer at that point. Like a big one. You would probably need like a maybe a quarter cow. Okay, and it's still a s ton of meat. Yeah. And start with that. I mean, you got a lot more mouths. I guess just see that how it goes. Yeah, start start small. Is there a but sub- it starts small. A quarter cow, dude, it's still a shit ton of meat. But I heard like subscriptions. Like you can get a, you can get like dude, a don't butcher's. Just, yeah. Um, don't do not do that? I mean, I don't know. I feel like you're paying more for who knows what you're getting. I'd rather get it from. You know what? Here's the thing. Yeah. You can tell a lot about sticking your head <laughs> up a bull's ass, but I'd rather take the butcher's word for it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, that's uh, kind of where I'm coming. I from. I like that. So, were you? Did you always quote movies back in the day when you were when you were like, like what, what, what were your favorite movies to quote? Like that had to be one. Like, Tommy Boy is always great. Tommy Boy's- I was always. I was just. I've always been like, if something like stands out to me and I can, I can, I just remember things like that. And I don't know. I just I'm witty. I'm quick. Well, I know that. I know it that. just comes out. I don't know. But when, I mean, like, like I think like Billy Madison was was pretty good. Like, like. Uh, Dumb and Dumber was pretty like we had oh, some yeah, quotable sure. movies growing up. We did, like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 always. Like the Dumb and Dumber one was always good. Where it was like, "How was your day today?" It's like, "Oh, it was good." How about you? <laughs> I lost my job. Me too. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I always freak out when you leave <laughs> something. He's like, "You're one pathetic <laughs> loser." <laughs> so good. <laughs> hey, I want to throw one at you. I want. I'm going to throw a few at you. All right. See if you can get them. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, Margo. Uh, vac- uh, Christmas vacation. That's good. Good job. Thank you. Uh, um, you think he's gone? He's never gone. You see? And then you open the door, and he's standing there. Let me do another one. Uh, same movie. Same movie where he says, uh, Dr. Leo Marvin! Leo Marvin! Dr. Leo. Bo- what is it? What about Bob? What about Bob? S- oh, good movie. Quarter. I haven't seen that a ton. I, In a while. It's okay. good, but. All right. All right. Uh, uh, big Bear. Big, Big Bear. Big Bear. Big Bear. Is that uh, uh, the. No way. No, it's John Candy. No and, way. Uh, you got uh, it. What is. I can't think of the name of it. It's uh, where he eats a huge steak. It's. Uh, <laughs> you got it. What is it, though? It was on like KSTW like all the time when we were like on. In the I've actually seen the movie a ton. I can't yeah. think of it. It's like with uh, Dan Aykroyd's in it too, and yes. he's the uh, the what, brother. But I'm trying to think you of want what me to the give movie you a, is. A hint. The Great Outdoors. Got it. Good job. All right, here's another one. You ready? Okay. Ready? You are my density. 
dense city. You are my density. Not destiny. Density. What are you looking at, McFly? Oh, is it freaking Back of the Future? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen that since I was like nine. <laughs> uh, those aren't pillows. Those aren't pillows. I don't know. They're cuddling in the bed together. They don't realize it. They're strangers. Two men sleeping together. John Candy and Steve Martin. Oh, Plane Chains on. There you go. It's a great movie, too. Um, you say that's a Thanksgiving movie. I think it's a Christmas time movie. It, it's, it's, he's trying to get back to celebrate Thanksgiving, but I understand what you're saying there. Uh, wow. Look what you did, you little jerk. Come on. Home alone. Okay. I'm what impressed. Else? Yeah, I missed one. What? What, I missed one? Well, no, but you, the great outdoors, you, you got the big bear. Big bear, big 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 bear. <laughs> you got it off of that. John Candy was in a uh, a movie at one point in a Wazoo. Yeah, it was singing the fight song, but I don't remember yeah, what it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, they used to play it at our games. Gosh, it was a Bill Murray movie. Uh, they were they were, I think they're going to war. They're going to the army. Um, gosh, you're right. I know exactly what you're talking about though. Yeah, he was wearing a Wazoo. Speaking of, how sad is the Mike Leach thing? That's sad. I don't think we've talked about that yet. We haven't. Great coach, good guy. And it, out of nowhere, I feel, bro. You know what's crazy? He's like I don't a man of the t- people. I don't mean to take this pod to a left turn, but like a right turn or wherever. All right, more of a right turn. I'm just saying, like, there's like a ton of young people and athletes just dying. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I know you're. Yeah, no, I'm not going anywhere with it. I'm just saying it's. It's weird. Yeah. It's bizarre. It's as if there's a pandemic of it, an epidemic. Okay. NBC News reported. I not. I don't want to get political. I don't want to. Get, should I even go down this road? Yeah. They said that uh, antibodies stay in your system longer than than anticipated. In fact, that if They're, you've gotten COVID, it's the same amount of immunity that you would have, if, if not you, more, if not more, if you had got the vaccine. Bah. I don't want to get into. I mean, we're not going to get into. We're not going to do it. We're not going to. I'm not getting into that. Anyways, um, so yeah, I feel good. Feeling good right now. Carnivores going good. Macros? Are you still counting no, macros? No, not counting macros. No, none of that anymore. No. Now the only thing I need to do is start working out on top of this, and I'm good. Yeah, you're. Uh, that's all. That's it. You're uh, what? Are you working out? No, I, I can't. Oh yeah, I'm gonna Wait. walk. I've been walking though. That is one thing you do do is walk. Yeah. Walk in your brain. So I'm, I'm freaking. I live there. No, you do not. <laughs> I live on the set up. <coughs> set up residence. You need to live in a freaking emphysema clinic. Dude, with it's so cough. bad, dude. Even the people that. What is at, it? Well, I had COVID like a month and a half ago, but it, well, okay. Well, let's talk about the last four years, like three years. Okay. Do you want to know the real what, truth? Yeah. What is the okay. cough, guys? So I grew up in a single wide trailer. You, you, you've heard or mobile home? Mo- not even a mobile home. Single wide. What do you call that? Yeah. Single wide. Yeah, single wide. I lived on the top bunk. Main source of heat. Dried you out? No. Main source of heat was wood. Wood stove. Okay. You're freezing out here. Oh, so you're inhaling smoke the whole time. I was the top bunk. Where's that smoke go? I think that there was some damage done to my lungs while I was sleeping at night. You know, like for 18 years. Like we, like when I moved out, my parents decided to You were the top bunk when you were 18? Oh, yeah. As soon as you move out, they're like, okay, have been holding on to these plants for quite some time. <laughs> you just thought your dad was digging holes in the back. He's foundation ready to go. Dude, he was, yeah, they were set and they built the house. And then uh, it's, I love the house. Awesome. It's great. But I think it did some. So anytime I get sick, anytime my respiratory gets, gets hurt. In fact, there were people at my work. Uh, That's I went, scary. I went into the office. They were like, hey, like, you okay? Because I was like coughing a ton, and I'm like, "Yeah, I got COVID. Sorry, it, tri- it triggers my 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 I have bad lungs." And I said, "I," and I said, "Shocker, newsflash for you guys, I would have been in the NFL or NBA if it wasn't for these lungs." But have you tried? Like, okay, so tell me this. I'm sure. I mean, you played basketball and sport, and yeah. Stuff. It was wrong. So, like, <coughs> how was it as I far as like? Because, dude, to be honest with you, like. I got the black lung. Pumps. I feel like I had good lungs. I feel like I have yeah. good lungs, even though like fire. Even like, though like 
everybody smoked around me my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> like I when I was yeah, kids, like right, right. just hot box in the car with the window down like a quarter inch yeah. so they could flick their ashes and like <laughs> just all of us in the back like <laughs> That's why you like that cold air blowing on you. But I guess what I'm trying to say is like even with good lungs and like legit like running and sprinting and taking yourself to that like crazy deep yeah. lung open when you uh, lungs are really really open yeah. i mean like you suck in air to the depths of your lungs yeah you feel, like you actually feel like lung, i mean like the air, running yeah, you sprinting feel the air like, in your lungs it actually. makes me cough like yeah. for sure but i mean like i don't know like i, I played know. basketball i was I, I played basketball from you know fourth grade to 10th grade i played on jv no well, summer league but other than that, I mean, like, yeah, it was. We had a, but here's the side note: we had a, we had a great basketball bunch. I, I, I could never, could never touch it. Uh, now, but uh, it, it's, uh, it, yeah, it hurt. It hurt. It was bad. But it's, it's gotten worse through the years. I used to work at a as a janitor uh, back right out of college, and it would be underneath a building, and it was, a, it was an old school building that was in Kent. And then when you would go down underneath, it, it just said "warning asbestos." Yes, <laughs> no way. Yes, seriously. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. So I probably sucked in a couple of that as well. Did you know that? Uh, That's that, not good, bro. Not Newport's Kent. Is there? Was there like a Kent? Uh, like there's there's some sort of like uh, a smoke or uh, cigarettes. I think they're called Kent Kent something. I don't know. They in the fifties or sixties because of asbestos. They their filters were made of asbestos, had or had asbestos particles in it. You know, dude, I'm sure that they still do. So people were probably smoking this. You know, so it's like I'm not the only one, but still, That's I don't know. Scary though, bro. Y- y- yeah, but here's the thing: I'm 41. Like I'm about to be 43 in a couple of days. Happy birthday, by the way. Thanks. What are you gonna do? My uh, birthday's coming up Sunday. Post on Facebook tagging it. 20, 20 <laughs> 26th. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks, bro. I uh yeah, no, I that's the thing. It's like, well, it's like we're all worried about like these like, oh my gosh. But we've li- we've lived more than likely half our life already. What's effed, dude, in my opinion, honestly, but the, uh, well, a couple things. What's effed in my opinion is that like that's why I like uh, talking to you about like eating out or eating at home. Like if you if you for instance, you said I'm going to have a, so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, if you, my thought process is this, if you were to, like you talked about today, like you're going to go to the arena tonight and have a Caesar, a salmon Caesar salad, a, a, a blackened Caesar or a blackened salmon Caesar salad. Yes. Okay. So you don't know what they cook that salmon in. Exactly. You don't know what's Butter. in the dress. Butter's not, I mean, butter's better for you than seed oils and all that other BS. Okay. Um. So you essentially cook it at home. Like, which one do you think it's going to be? I mean, I think night and day it's going to be the one that you cook at home. How you cook it, the way you want to cook it, it may not taste the same or be. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how good of a cook you are, but hmm. meaning that you know for a fact your nutritional value that you're getting out of it. And I'm talking about buying a head of romaine, buying yeah, the I mean, things I'll that would go that on too. it, and like. Cleaning it, cleaning yeah. it, cooking it, doing it the right way, and knowing exactly what elements are going into it. But now, the thing that's crazy to me is that not only that, but every single freaking thing that we go out and buy is like processed. It's garbage, absolutely, dude. yeah. I mean, that's but, and that's where, you, believe it or not, that's where your sodium kicks up at. Processed food has the most sodium, so that was one thing that. So what I what I learned as I'm doing my research is that now that I've cut out like the stuff that's been kind of bad for me, now I'm gonna go get these packaged salads with this, you know. Yeah, but, but you the look, sodium. Yeah, in but that, you look at what's in it, like, like sodium the, benzate trial, whatever. So much, and you're like, what is this? And it's yeah. like all to keep moisture in it, but it's like a chemical. It's like it's right, still it's ba- bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Like, right? Like you can go buy like well, that's why I'm like I'm like why am I killing myself at 41? If if I die at 61 and I've seen all my kids walk down the aisle, I've got to play with some grandchildren. Like is that I'm maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I need to do. 
Yeah, but you're you're capping it, man. Like I'm not trying to cap it. Like some days I feel like maybe 61, but other days <laughs> I feel like 105. Yeah, you know what right. I, mean? I get like, that. Yeah, I get it. Like, don't cap it though. Like you just got to do one day at a time, buddy. Never live. You can't live forever. But you know what you can do? Forever live your life while you're alive. Boom. Get that as a lower back tattoo. <laughs> get that in old English if you want. <laughs> lower, Sanskrit. <laughs> lower back tattoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's that paragraph say? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you do is you just get a, a barcode and then they scan it and then boom. Like a QR code? A QR code, boom. Oh, yeah. And then they just hear what I just said. It's just audibly on their phone. It takes them to the episode. Wow. Huh? What do you think? Is that even a thing? I don't know, but it would be sweet. Dude, that might actually be like a real deal like thing that people would probably get into like real deal if like you could tattoo like a real deal like qr code so like plays your song plays your not that i don't want that i'm just saying like oh what if it tells somebody your name? like some no i don't Joey want no, no, no. Back. that stuff to me is weird i'm 226, saying 26 1978 no 80 uh what i'm are you 80 yeah i'm 81 how are you why do you why do i feel like you're like that much did you get held back no Wait, did you get moved ahead? No. I'm 81. How are we like three years removed? You grew up in Selick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were 97? 98. Oh, 98. Okay, then that makes more sense. So, But what I'm trying to say is is that like that could be like a real deal. And I'm not talking about like scan people, do things, do whatever. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Mark I'm of the Beast. No, uh, that's what you were just saying. That's I'm not you, into no, that's that. You, not me. You were just saying that. You could probably do. You some just said it. <laughs> okay. I'm not into it anyways. I'm over it. That was a bullshit idea. How's the old hernia? How's the hernia? Every time I make you laugh, you have to hold your tummy. I have to hold my tummy. Hold your tum tums. I'm gonna bust this. Hold gut. your tum tums. So bad. A uh, question for you: Do you want to record another one, or I feel like just one, one and done? Uh, one and done keeps us on our toes. All right, we're at 50, 50 minutes right now. I know, but I've been told that the last couple of podcasts have been a little short, too short. Yeah, the one we did for an hour and a half. Like I drove to Colorado, and I was like, "Gosh, can we fast forward this thing? This thing's take." I was like, "I wish I could like probably listen to this thing like eighteen times in a row, and I'll be there." Yeah, but you were the one that was like all antsy and like, "Oh, uh, I gotta go take a nap before <laughs> I drive my family," <laughs> had, and then had the, no the, clue they were waiting for the me. whole family on the couch just ready, just backpacks on, ready to roll, ready to roll. Uh do you, do, how come you don't do shout outs? Someone asked me that. They're like, how come you don't do how come you don't do shout outs? Like, do you not I do do shout outs. Are there not people in your life that you feel like you want to shout them out? I always say, say go Cougs. Uh, like the, yeah, tonight it, I'm gonna tonight I'm was gonna I'm really into tuna fish right now. I was gonna say like tuna, You're gonna you're gonna shout out tuna fish? Tuna salad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, I'm telling you, it's good. It fills you up. Healthy, That's packed hilarious. with protein. That is so funny that you're you're gonna shout out food. What? What? Why? I'm just saying. Like, I feel like that should be like a you little... do so many shout outs that, that I don't even have a word. I don't even. That's what it. I'm saying. Like, why don't you do one? Like, why don't you like give a legit shout out? Is what I'm saying. Well, because my shout outs I keep in I keep in my own dome. In your own in your own heart. Yeah. Okay. So then let's do this. I like that. We'll do that. Let's do. Uh, let's give you anybody top... that I would shout out knows that they're getting a shout out. Okay, so know that, guys. And then, what did you say? You said tuna fish sandwich? Give no, your t- no, tuna salad. Tuna salad. Give me your top three salads. Go. And then we're going to shout your top three salads. Go. Cobb. Okay. Tuna. And then the cob, what do you got in it? Like a fried egg and like some chicken? Or what do you got? What do you got? Have you ever had a cob salad? Yeah. No, it's a hard boiled egg. That's what I meant. Chicken, bacon, ranch, blue cheese. Okay. All that. The whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it's Big a cob one. salad. The Lee. Lee has a great one. Cob salad. Cob salad. Tuna salad. Tuna salad. And what do you got in that? Tuna salad. Mayo, mustard, sweet relish. But no lettuce. Tuna. But no lettuce. No. Is, this not really, is it really a salad? Yeah. Okay. Is egg salad really a salad? Good point. Okay. Third one. Top one. Egg salad. Oh, so you... Oh, so you're, so you <laughs> <laughs> your top three salads are just one... Real actual salad. The other two are tuna and egg salad. <laughs> Iceberg's a cheap filler, dude. Actually, I love a wedge salad, dude. A, a real deal wedge salad. I love it. Do you, man, 
I mean, like a real deal wet salad. I'm what is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. You're saying you're it's a wedge of oh, a wedge. iceberg. I said a wet salad. <laughs> wedge. Okay. No, those are top four. Okay, so number one is Cobb. No, or Cobb. wedge. Uh, I enjoy a Cobb. Caesar is Caesar even on the list? I like see. I like all salad, but like those are like but top. your top. Your top two of the top four is egg salad and tuna salad. Just yeah, not salads. I yes, mean, like that, that's like me saying like my my top four sports is like NASCAR. Oh, hold on. Chess. A second. Hold on a second. Speaking of sports, one of the best shows, episodes, like episode show on Netflix is called Full Swing. Yeah. And it is unreal. I got Tyson and, and and KP blowing me up about it. It's so good I, to the to the point to where I've been at the range every day and I'm going to get my card. Because <laughs> if you make the cut, you're making coin. That's what I'm saying. You just got to do one. You just got to get one in. You're set. I've been telling that for years. Everyone's like, oh, no, no, just get in there for one. You're set. Win one major. Just make the cut. If you make the cut, you're guaranteed six feet. You're making 150 grand. Well, yeah. Last I mean, place, you're still making 200 Gs. I could do that. We could definitely do that. All right. I'm going to do my Patreons real quick. Okay. Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Sarver, Jared Skelly, Homer Robertson, Veronica Lara, Ben Elman, Jamie Roberts, Jamie Kenny, Apollo Doodle, Jackson Zidehook, Sasha Carey Lynn, Russell Brandon, Thomas Savageo, Councilman Anthony Wright, Sage Hills Golf and RV Resort, and Cameron Stratton. Thank you guys very much. Let me just do a little quick thing on how I met everybody. Uh, I, I, I've never done that before. I'm sure this is going to be very interesting to you. Kellen Hall, Kibler. Holly Graff, Ian Claw Discussion Board. Adam Kenny Art, my brother. Seth Loop uh, through, I think, the podcast, actually, and then Facebook. Cassie Spencer, the podcast met at uh, when we, you and I did a, a live at at Cole Street Brewery. She was there for that. Amanda Keating, Ian e- Cloud Discussion Board. She kind of saw her. Uh, my work, Jared Skelly knew him through Safeway and then through Joe Brassard as well as uh, Corey, uh, uh, Corey Bentley, sorry. Uh, Homer Robertson through Facebook and Full Buddy Cast. Uh, Veronica Lara through Safeway when I used to work. Ben Illman through my work. Jamie Roberts through Facebook and I think through like half of the Auburn Parks Department. Jamie Kenny, my wife. Apollo Doodle. Met them through Sean. Jackson Zidehook met him through uh, Corey Bentley. He came on as a uh, for an episode, and we never released it. Uh, Sasha Carey Lynn through the through Full Buddy Cast. Russell Brandon uh, through his mom and through work and through Safeway and through softball and through and Thomas Savageo through uh, uh, I, Thomas. I actually brought on for Bordeaux Wine Bar. Anthony Wright through uh, Facebook. Sage Hills Golf and RV, RV Resort through. The b- podcast and Cameron Stratton, real estate extraordinaire, uh, through basketball when I used to run and my my uh, lungs would burn. That's a history lesson for you guys. I had to make this longer because uh, uh, Joey likes longer episodes. <laughs> Thanks for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anything else to add? I think you really drew everybody in. That was good. Go Cooks. Go Tuna Salad. <laughs> Go Tuna Salad. Paul Irwin of Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck. Joey Hollenbeck. <laughs>